Hey, what's up? This is Satchel from Steel Panther. One of the most awesome heavy metal bands ever in the history of the universe. And you're listening to Pit FM, yeah! Uh. Welcome to Australia. Um, how have the show been so far? Woo, God, I'll tell you, man. This, is, uh, this has been quite a run for us. The show's have been... I don't, honestly don't remember how the show's been because every time I go on stage, I'm pretty drunk and pretty high on cocaine. So because of that, it's hard to remember. But I know from hearing stories that the shows have been amazing and we've been great. And I, in particular, am always really good. So I must, I'm sure that I'll be great. Um, but when you say run, um, I, when, well, because of last night, because we've been partying so much, I was almost late to the show because I had the runs. That's oh, true. He had some good. Indian curry mm -hmm. here in Australia and he was pooping so Does much. Does runs mean the same here yes. as runs? Well, I was talking yeah, about a different kind of run, but yes, you had the runs. And that's the thing, like when he gets the runs, he usually wears some sort of an animal print, spandex. So the diarrhea and the poop, it just kind of blends in with the stripes or the spots. And nobody can tell, except for the smell, of course. What were you gonna say? Anything else? No, um, I was also gonna add, how, how, what's your opinion on the Australian women? Australian women? Yes. They, what do you think about this? I'll, I'll let you answer this. Uh, thank first. you, well, but because I, want, I do want to say something. Well, because you know, being from the states, it's like koala bears and kangaroos. We like that the women. We know that Australia has koala bears, but we don't. But the, we don't like when the women have koala bears on their vaginas. That's why you got to shave your vagina. Mm -hmm. You don't want some guy to go down and see a koala bear because mm -hmm. those things are fierce. A lot of people don't realize. Sharp you know, claws. You can't just stick your face into koala bear, especially if it's a drape between a girl's legs. Those things will fucking rip your face right off. They will bite you. They were some of the fiercest marsupials known to man, okay? And I know what you're thinking. Well, Steel Panther is pretty fierce, too, and we are. Steel is probably the hardest some substance known to science, and panthers are, like, they're the fastest land animal. And, um, you know. You combine it, when you combine the two. But you can't, they're not going to kill a koala, not between a girl's legs, because they, they're, like, allergic. So, when save you your vaginas, that's what we're trying to tell you. Yeah. When did Australia expect to see Steel Panther back on their own tour? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're booking shit right now, and we're gonna we're gonna try to book it at like the biggest places you have, like arenas, um, you know, fucking uh, stadiums and shit. Yeah, yeah, we we'll, yeah wherever like there's all kinds of like you guys have so many bitching arenas and places like we were in Melbourne and there's like an arena every you can't walk without bouncing into another arena. We we're trying to go see Slipknot and we went to. We went to one arena and nobody was in that arena. We snuck in because we didn't have any money for tickets. And it was the wrong arena. And sure enough, we could hear Slipknot, but they were just in the arena next door. Mm -hmm. So we want to play in one of those big ones all by ourselves, but with nobody else with us. I mean, not. Uh, there would be cr a crowd, crowd of people one, yeah. like, watching and listening to our music. But uh, yeah, we're going to come back really, really soon. And uh, by the way, to answer your earlier question, Australian girls, they're. Awesome lays. I've been laid over the past five days, maybe about uh, only three times by different girls here. And I've seen some of the fucking freshest vaginas I've ever seen. I don't know what it is about that. Maybe it's like something about the, uh, you get a lot of, um, you get a lot of dairy protein. The taste of the vagina down here is just like, mm, it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's like, a, like a mango or something. You like mango, right? A juicy mango. mango, a mango that has extra, a mango that has been rained on a bunch. Mm, nice, juicy, wet mango. Uh, you guys just thinking about it. Hungry for a mango or? Well, mango? I could eat a mango or I could eat a vagina. <coughs> if it tastes like a mango, I, I would satisfy my hunger. Mm. Uh, you guys dropped balls out last year. Um, how the track's going down in the live environment? What did you just say? You, I don't know. I can't understand. Like, sometimes the accent here just goes. Right over my head. Like the teacher on that Peanuts cartoon. Uh, you guys released Balls Out last year. I got that one. Yes. How okay. have the songs gone down in the live environment? Oh, in the live environment. See, I didn't hear the environment part. You know what? That's, a, that's the best question you've asked so far. You're fucking very well thought out. Uh, I appreciate the depth, you know, and um, you're getting good at this. Thank you. You know that? You're welcome.
Uh, I think it's been kicking some serious ass. Like I said, I don't remember the shows. I'm pretty high during them, but let me tell you, from what I hear and what I've seen on YouTube, the audience really seems to enjoy the new songs. And you know, why not? These songs are about, they're written from real life experiences that we've had as a band. Uh, 17 girls in a row. Uh, I remember me and Lexi were at a party and there was fucking a bunch of girls. A lot of them got naked all at once. And we were both gonna fuck them, but that was the night that you couldn't get a bone because you did too much cocaine. Sometimes it's just like chasing the gerbil, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you can't do, it, yeah. And but, but, but now there's a bunch of new drugs um, that you can do to get your penis to go up straighter again. Viagra and Cialis, and we pop those 10, 12 at a time. And your dick will stay hard for six weeks sometimes. It's amazing. You ever had a boner for six weeks? That's it's that. not uh, fun. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and, and it sucks when you have to travel with your buddy that has a boner because I was going through. Where I was going through, he he, he got he took too many of them for all those girls, and I had to be at the checkout. You know, you had to take all your clothes off. Well, I had I was behind him, and his boner kept bumping into me and, and bumping and kept bumping and pushing me f too far. And the guy was like, "You can't come in this beep beep going off because I didn't have a chance to take all my stuff off yet because his boner was pushing me far." Uh huh. And then I shot the sperm on him. That so that that wasn't that. I got a boner right now. You can't really tell. Because these pants are very tight. Very tight pants. You just got those pants. Stand up and show it's, your big pants. Check out these fucking pants. That's a, per, that, that's a purple zebra. You can only find... Where did, I don't know where they, they, where they found that one. This is the radio, so you can't see what I'm doing right now. But it's a fucking bitch and move. It's, it's, like, it's a sexy dance, and he's got purple left... Le it's not a leopard. What kind of animal It's a purple zebra. Actually, there are real purple zebras in uh, North Vietnam. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, because they just discovered them. All right. Um, off you guys left. Tiny, Australia. tiny little zebras. You can barely find them because that's why purple. I didn't know that they, they lived before, and they just found them. They're tiny little zebras. They could fit on your thumbnail. They're beautiful. They're fun to pet. And you know what? They hate when you step on them. I did that once. Stepped on a tiny purple zebra, and it fucking made. You know what sound it made? Just and like a died. And it actually knew how to speak English. It was like no, 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 and then it was dead. Kill the purple zebra with my boot. But what's bitching is we, we don't waste the purple little purple z dead zebras. We use it for bitching pants, and that's why it, you kill enough of those purple zebras, and you get some fucking bitching pants. And the bitching thing about purple zebras, they're not on the endangered species list yet, so you can kill as many as you want. You could run around a field and get like a bunch of pants for the whole band. Scoop them up with nets, and they all speak English, and they're screaming for their lives. But you kill the little purple zebras. <laughs> You crush your little neck. I want a pink. I want to kill a pink one and make pink zebra pants. Hold on. Hold on a second. We're just kidding. There's no such thing as purple zebras. Okay, so don't fucking write us emails and shit saying that we're mean. Okay? I would never kill a pr purple zebra. That would be so fucking mean. I would kill a little pink pant. I, I would kill a little pink one because I want. I want those pants. I would kill one. You know what? Yeah. I guess it would be pretty easy to kill them. Because I would do, I would do that for heavy metal. What are they gonna do? Fight back? You think you couldn't kick a pink zebra's ass? You could rip its fucking throat out. Especially if it was a little baby one, like what, that could fit on your finger now. Alrighty, um, you guys. Pretty bitchin' interview so far, huh? It is. I like it. Thank you. You guys have gotten Keep rave your reviews. eyes on the prize. You guys have gotten rave reviews from all of the sound waves on the east coast. Um, and don't think that didn't cost us a lot of money. What separates you guys from the rest of this tour? Why is everyone raving about Steel Panther? Because is everybody has a time. Is that? I'm getting closer to you. I feel comfortable with you, that's why. <laughs> what separates us is we have to go on at a certain time, then another band has to go on at a certain time, then another band has to come. That's why we're separated, so everybody has a chance. I think the other thing that separates us is our fucking awesome musical ability. And, um, you know, if my, my guitar playing is fucking radical. And um, our singer is probably the oldest singer on tour. And he's got nodes and shit, and he's put on a little bit of weight. But I think he shows that he's got the gusto and the fucking balls it takes to get up there and rock, even though there's many singers that are young enough to be his grandkids up there kicking ass. And he's up there 
like you know, like meatloaf or something. Just he's got, ass. It won't stop rocking. He's got the gusto and the gut dough. <laughs> the gut that, dough. Gut dough is funny because you could say it's gut and dough because he's of the warm. dough. Because he, he does he, get a lot of chicks though. That guy. No, a lot he, of girls feel comfortable with him. Like he can throw his chicks in the band for sure. He's the lead singer and he's very handsome and it doesn't matter because it's a cushy oh. place for girls. He gets pussy hair, and you should see when we were back home, and we do shows at night, and the, and he can you know rely upon like turning the lights down and having the smoke machine on. He's even better looking from a distance, in the smoke, in the dark. Uh, gets all kinds of pussy. And I think can I? Can I can we're not in this interview. I'm, I'm going to tell you why more it separates us because now I understand what you're saying. It wasn't just the time machines. It was the fact that we 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 do it with our bitchin' hair and our, and our really cool instruments because we have them specially made by pink zebras.